Hello everyone, uh, it's Toby here uh, again. So, um, thank you for sort of allowing me back to the channel, Tim. Um, and today we'll be looking at a 50 caliber ammunition box. Now, brief background on this the 50 caliber, uh, it, it came in as sort of a requirement for something that bridges the gap between. You know, your light machine guns, so by that point it would be the M1919 um, 30 caliber and something heavier, so I'm just trying to think of a heavy American weapon, it's probably 20 millimeter or something along those lines. Um, these were probably, I'd say, among the most dangerous weapons of the Second World War and also after, because many people don't remember they, they served until now, basically, so... Um, these were really, you know, heavy rounds that could be used against either, you know, sort of light armour, infantry, soft skin vehicles. They're also in planes, which is another thing a lot of people don't recognise. And to do that, you needed to keep these guns fed. Now, these ammunition boxes are defining features. As you can see, they're quite a simple but very rugged construction. They've got on the top here, as you can see carrying handles so it's easy to pick up as most ammunition boxes do some other countries have them in webbing but that one's nice solid metal um, another feature to note about these is the second world war ones and probably just post-war have the catch there whereas the uh, post-war ones will tend to have the catch over there so it lifts up like that rather than like that that's just to make things a bit more convenient and it was a sort of I guess slightly more refined design. Uh, it's got this very sort of stereotypical olive drab paint, which you see on pretty much most things American. Um, and on the back of this, we have some nice markings as well. So we have a 100 rounds for the 50 caliber and it's uh, armor piercing incendiary rounds. So these would be sort of, they would glow almost. Not like Star Wars blaster rounds like you saw in Fury. Um, but th they would nonetheless, you know, be be glowing. Um, so you could better gauge where they were landing. Um, yeah, these were actually got quite the reputation for being a really scary round. The incendiaries in particular did. Because not only would the round cause just hideous amounts of damage. It would also... Um, Set, well, it could, you know, burn, it can... A lot of chemical burns and things like that, because that's how they glow. So, yeah, quite a scary weapon. And still in use to the modern day. So, there's probably quite a few photos of being sort of stacked up, you know, pre-D-Day, that sort of thing. This one was, I'm not going to give away where, but a fairly local find. So, God knows how long it could have been in the area for. Could have been here since the Second World War, but, um... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed sort of looking over this, and um, yeah, I think I'll sign the video off. Right, goodbye guys.